First, let me start off by saying I bought an automatic transmission with the right intentions. So I bought this to manual swap. That's that's like the entire reason I bought the automatic transmission was so you guys could get a complete DIY series on how to manual convert one of these cars. It's gonna be killer. That being said, I'm still gonna be doing some videos about it being automatic. Some additional reasons why I bought an automatic will be a future video. Today's topic is how does this car actually drive with an automatic transmission? So this is actually my second E36 M3. My other one is manual. That one was actually bought with an automatic too. So that was actually the first car I manual swapped. I had a 325i that I manual swapped and this will be the third one. I have driven and I do prefer the manual. Automatic, no way. This car with an automatic transmission, as far as the automatic transmissions go, it's not the worst. It is nowhere, absolutely nowhere near the best, but it's not the worst. I drove a 2013 Fiesta SE that was automatic, and I figured it out. I had it down to a science. If you like slow down, if you're decelerating at about 15 miles an hour, and you just floor it, right? The transmission like totally shits its pants and it feels like you hit a kid. The whole car just feels like you hit a kid. It's the weirdest fucking thing. For daily driving, the automatic in this car, the E36 automatics are not that bad. It's just like a normal transmission. It's just a normal automatic transmission. Where this transmission starts to get bad is when you start doing performance oriented driving, like sporty driving. So at least for me, I feel that the transmission, the manual transmission has a little bit shorter gearing. Now matted with the 338 differential, the manual transmission is a freaking beast in this car. But first, second, and third gear is really long in this car with the automatic. So it is quite a bit slower, not to mention it's not as snappy on the shifts. You can get some pretty good digs out of it. Normal performance oriented driving, it's sort of a hassle and sort of a pain. Like when I drive to work, the on-ramp like sort of comes around a corner and then it goes straight on. Getting up from like 30 miles an hour to like 80 miles an hour, merging on the highway, I'll get on it. Sometimes I'll even mat it. And the transmission, it's like, it's sort of, it's really bipolar. Cause sometimes I'll get on it and it'll be like in third gear and it'll drop to second and then it'll pull fairly well. And sometimes it'll just power through third gear and it's it like why it doesn't it can't make up its mind what it's doing you know so you get into this like awkwardness and sometimes you'll floor it and it'll try to power through and then about two seconds later it decides now nah, I'm gonna drop a gear and then it drops a gear it's just like it's this shit show of the transmission trying to figure out what the fuck it wants to do with his own life canyon carving with it is a little bit Eh, at the same you put it into the sport mode and yeah when you let off the throttle it'll hold it in gear for a good couple seconds but often I find that it doesn't hold it in gear long enough so by the time I'm actually getting back on the throttle it held it there for like three or four seconds but at like the five second mark is when I got back on the power so it had to redrop it down again not to mention it's not exactly the quickest shifting transmission out there it's pretty big slush box another thing is is the feel of the car with the automatic transmission in it you definitely going from a manual into the automatic one you definitely feel like there's a piece of the car that's totally missing and it totally is the manual just gives you that entire connection feel to the car that the automatic just takes away I wouldn't go as far to say that the car is completely soulless with the automatic transmission in it but it's it's pretty soulless it just doesn't communicate the same feel through the road you know and having that s52 in there with the power that it can do and the way the engine sounds you don't have direct control of it you lose your ability to completely control the car and it sucks it, it really sucks having the manual transmission in really livens up the car and with the automatic in it's sort of you know what's in there you know what it has you know what it can what it can do you 
just don't have the ability to unlock its full potential. You don't have tools like a manual transmission does to really open it up. Not to mention the automatic's a little bit heavier, so you're sort of not as performance oriented, not even close. But for daily driving, it's not super terrible. You get all the benefits of not having a manual, which don't even come close to outweighing having one. I will say though, the automatic feels a little bit zippier when you're daily driving. To accelerate at a quicker rate is easier with the automatic than with the manual because you don't really have to shift, but I, I don't know, that's just my honest opinion. It feels a little bit zippier. Under power, really, the automatics are a decent amount slower. And when I get my M3 convertible running, the one that is a stick, we're gonna do some comparison. We're gonna do some drag races to see which one is actually faster. And that'll be kind of interesting to see because the sedan is lighter than the convertible, but the convertible is manual and has some modifications done to it. Uh, we'll see, it'll be power versus weight sort of thing. And then we're gonna see how it compares when this car is manual swapped compared to the convertible. We got some cool videos coming up in the in the future not the near future but the future for sure thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe keep it fresh and i will see you guys later Maybe you should say